Hello and welcome back. Inspired by my friend Rod in Queensland, Australia, who's been doing a little bit of electrolysis the other week, I thought I'd have a go myself. But I'm not going to clean rusty metal, I'm going to have a go with a brass part. The tools for the job are a cheap battery charger running in parallel with a 12 volt battery. The idea of that is these cheap battery chargers they don't have very good rectifiers, so when they're trying to turn AC into DC, a little bit of AC can trickle through. But running it in parallel with a battery, so it's negative to negative, positive to positive, it cleans up the rectifier. It's under load to get a better DC. Because if you've got a little bit of AC coming through, you clean the part and it'll stick to it. You clean the part and it'll stick to it. Only slightly, but it's there. So the best job is, and this battery is not even very good actually, it doesn't hold the charger well, but it's keeping the charge under load. Right, that's that. Now the tank, well, a B&Q bucket. For the anodes, I'm going for stainless steel. I read up on it, and it says you can give off a little bit of chromium, but I don't think it's neither either though. I'm not planning on drinking uh, the electrolyte anyway, so it's, everything's fine. Uh, with stainless steel, nothing sticks to it, so it should affect uh, the cleaning. I'm going for two of them, and I'm going to have the piece in the middle, and I think I stand a better chance if it's been attacked from both sides rather than it's trying to clean from one side and the back side having to go around it to get to it. Because essentially it's an electroplating in reverse, you're just using a different electrolyte and uh, you've got the anodes uh, and the cathode uh, the wrong way around basically. Now for the electrolyte, most people use uh, soda crystals, which is sodium carbonate, which is fine. I'm going to try to be a little different and I'm going for Sodium carbonate, perhaps a hydrate, and basically it's got a little bit of oxygen in it and the bubbles may help or may not help the cleaning process and I think it's a little bit gentler as well than the soda crystals on the brass part because it will want to attack the zinc in the brass and it might be, get slightly discoloured but we'll see how we get on with that. Right, nothing to do now but add five scoops to this, I'm going to add one scoop per gallon, that's a five gallon bucket. Two, three, four, five, maybe give it a stir up. Yeah. Whatever you do though, don't get this stuff in your clothes because it'll clean up. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Lovely. Nothing more to do than drop the piece in. Uh, Just using an old bit of brass so you can see it. It's often an old steam ball, but I put an hole in it because I'm not going to use it again. This is just the dirtiest piece of brass I've got kicking about. So I'll drop that in now. See how we get on. He says, there we go. I think it's full of a bit, isn't it? Right, we'll let that be. We'll come back to that in an hour or so. Well, there's a party going on in the bucket, that's for sure. It's fantastic. Lots of crud around the anodes and bits of carbon and all the crap reflect off very well on the edges of the bucket. Let's see what we've got. So far. Right. Yeah, all the burnt on the suits and carbon is coming off lovely. And you can see it's slightly discoloured because it's been attacking the zinc. But I think that'll polish out. Let's put it back in for a couple more hours. 
that burnt on stuff is really hard to get off. I couldn't even get that off with sandpaper on a boiler I just cleaned up before. I'm not recommending it for uh, model boilers. It seems to get the cut off brass lovely. Back in you go. Uh, funny noises are fair charge. Four fun filled hours later, we have got a bucket or crud. Let's see how the brass part is fired. Well, let's give it a quick polish up with some brass oil. Not bad. A little longer maybe. Well, I had the whip piece back in for another two and a half hours. And look at the kip of my spoon. I think that's all zinc. Uh, certainly won't be any more custard with that. Let's have a look at the workpiece. There you go. Get a good polishing on the polishing machine. That's come up well. There doesn't seem to be any surface damage at all. I'd say it was about 80% successful. It did a good job of getting all the oil and suit off. Next job is a jug I'm doing. I thought it was a brass jug, but it turns out I think it's pewter. So I'm going to whack that in and see how we get on. <laughs> 